Hello everyone, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to restart the XFCE panel and window manager in case of a crash or freeze. Now, I know what you're thinking when I say freeze, what does that mean? How are you going to do anything if it's frozen? Well, when I say frozen, I don't mean entirely unusable, like you can't touch anything, but like if your panel stops responding, then it's frozen or your window manager breaks, like if I open up my file manager and like the window controls are no longer there, no longer functional, and uh, the window manager is effectively crashed. That's what I mean. So let's go ahead and focus on the panel first. So you're gonna need to open up a terminal and once you do, you need to kill your current terminal or you need to kill your current panel session, excuse me. And you can do that by doing kill all XFCE for panel. Now I covered two ways you can kill this in the article. Uh, if you if you can't use the kill all command, you can also do pid of xfce4 panel. That will give you the process ID, which you can then do kill tac9 and then 2420. For, for me, it'll be a different process ID every time, but we can kill it like that. And now if you run it, it should automatically restart the session for the panel. So by just stopping it, it will automatically restart your broken panel. If you do kill all XFC for panel, one second there. So if you kill it directly with the kill command, it will it will restart it. But if you do kill all, it will kill all uh, kinds of panels in the session permanently. So you'll have to respawn it with, uh, and you want to put an and at the end. So you can start your new panel here, and then you can just do disown and that will let you close your terminal and your panel is working and up and running again. So that's how that all works. Now let's move on to the window manager. All right, so to replace the window manager, because we've worked with the panel, now we need to talk about replacing the window manager. We need to run the xfwm4 command with replace and we need to add the and sign at the end just so we can send it to the background. So Instantly, as soon as you do this, you'll see that the window manager is completely refreshed. So if you are having problems with the controls or the rendering of the windows, it is now refreshed. From here, you can look at jobs and you can see the terminal is currently holding this job right here and it's running the window manager in your terminal. You can send it to the background with disown. And we can close the terminal and the window manager is completely functional and working the way it should. So if you have a frozen or locked up XFCE panel or window manager, this is what you can do to fix it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>